Abraham believed God and it was counted for righteousness sake. Abraham believed God and it was counted for righteousness sake. When God says to trust in His Son, and you believe that, you receive it, you believe it, you accept it, you digest it, turn it over in your mind, and you drink. You drink that truth, you eat that truth, it becomes a part of you. That's the born again experience, right? You receive Christ into your heart by faith. And that is in the Bible. That's in the Bible. You must be born again. You know, I heard that pre... I, I, there's some people... That, look, there's a preacher out in California. I always forget his name. I'm kind of glad I forget his name. But people will bring him up because he's, he's the kind of person that... The preacher that he... He's really like verse by verse. He was from California... Uh, Canada, then he ended up becoming a U.S. citizen, and uh, John MacArthur, that's who it is. And so I heard he somebody posted a message, and every time I hear him, he says, well, this is the gospel, but he never mentions, he said, Jesus died for the world, but he never mentions that you've got to receive. You must be born again. I, ne I, I hope I'm wrong. But if somebody can show me where uh, John MacArthur says, receive Jesus and be born again, I wish somebody would send me a link because I've never heard him. I've never heard him preach that. He has a, he, it seems to me he has a universal salvation in his mind, which God went to the cross, yes, for all mankind, but you've got to believe. Not everybody's going to believe. Then if you really take it a little bit further, for the elect's sake, the elect, the election, the called out ones, preordained before the foundation of the world, there's a script. There's goats and there's sheep. There's snakes and goats and sharks and sheep. And God calls you. And you get saved. Look what happened to Cain. When Cain was uh, when Cain was trying to uh, bring his own sacrifice, what did God say? I, I always wondered about this, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Well, Cain, if you do right, Cain, sin is encroaching upon the door. But if you do right, see what he told Cain. He gave Cain what Cain was. Cain was a works-based salvation creature. And God said, well, if you do right, but knowing that Cain can't do right, see, that's what the law is. That was a precursor to the law. That was God showing Cain that he can't do right, that he needs to believe on God, trust God, believe on Jesus, bring a blood offering, a blood sacrifice, trust God Cain was a works based salvation just like the Freemasons just like the cults and the isms and the legalists and all they all go back to works they'll say faith alone plus works no it's either faith alone plus nothing you can't add to it and you can't subtract from it. faith alone in the finished work of Jesus Abel brought a blood sacrifice but he told Cain he said Cain if you do right you'll be happy but Cain, or me, or you, nor Cain, nor me, nor you, nor anyone can do right. Only Jesus. What did Jesus say? He was talking to the, I guess the Pharisees. In other words, what are you saying? what he was saying in his whole uh, walk down here is there's only one good and that's God 
And if you call me good master, then you're looking at God I am in the flesh. There's only one good, and that's God. And he's saying, if you're calling me good, good master, then I'm God. But there's none good, no, not one, the Bible says. So no human is good. So they had to be calling him God without even knowing it. But then when he says, I am that I am, they wanted to kill him. Yes, Jesus went to the cross. Yes, he went to the cross for all mankind. But not all people will receive. Not all people will believe. Not all people will accept. Not all people will enter in by faith. And that's why he told Cain, Cain, if you do right, he could only talk to him at his level. So if you're still under rules, works, levels, ranks, grades, ratings, under legalism, under law, if you're still under law, if you're still under law and rules and touch not, taste not, handle not, don't go here, don't say this, don't look at this, if you're still under a works-based salvation system, all you can hear is keep the law, keep the law, and then you'll cry out to God and say, law, Lord, I can't keep the law. That's what I'm trying to show you, that you you can't do it, that Jesus is the only one that can. And how do you appropriate that? You do it by faith. How do you apply that to yourself? How do you, how do you paint that onto yourself? How do you put the clothes on yourself? You can only do it by faith. It's only by faith. It's impossible to be good enough. It's impossible to work your way to heaven. It's impossible in the energy of the flesh. The flesh is nothing but sin. Romans 7. But who can rescue me from this body of death? This mortal body that's going back to the grave. This, this mortal being down here in 3D. Who can rescue me? The spirit of truth. Jesus in you Christ in you John MacArthur I have never heard him preach the full gospel about faith alone and being born again I've never heard him he can he can he can uh, he can go through that word line by line T uh, cross every T and dot every I but I've never heard him talk about by faith and born again I've never heard him he even even when he talks about the verses about born again you must be born again he he, he's, it's, like a, it's like robotic. It's not real. Those who are born again, praise God, they're born again. They can, you can feel it. You know it. You can hear it in their voice. You can hear it in their emotions. It's a real thing. It's not some kind of it, something out there that you can't touch. It's real. You can hear it in their, their spirit. The spirit of truth speaking through them. They don't need a PhD. They don't need anybody else. They just say, I know one thing. I was blind, but now I can see. I was lost, but now I'm found. I'm born again. I used to be born of the flesh. Now I'm born of the spirit because I'm a son of God. The women would say daughter of God. It's real. There's been an exchange life. There's been an exchange. You die. You come off the throne. You leave the throne of your own life. And God gets on the throne. No longer I that liveth, but Christ lives in me. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. An inner renewal has nothing to do with outward show. It's inner renewal inner renewal inward man being renewed day by day from glory to glory not from sin to glory but from glory to glory see what's happening is Cain is trying to go from sin to glory but, he, but you can't do that you can't take your sin nature and go to glory. It has to be a new nature. It has to be a new heart. It has to be a new mind. It has to be a new spirit. It has to be new. What do you mean? Receive Christ by faith. 
receive the seed of the Word of God into the womb of your heart. Just like the man puts the seed in the womb of the woman and she has a birthing, a baby. So the seed of the Word of God goes into the womb of your heart. There becomes a conception. There's a conception. Oh, I get it. I, I understand. I receive it. Boom. A conception, a birthing, a new birth from above, not from below. A new born-again experience from above, not below. Sons of God outside of time, outside of the flesh, outside of 3D, from 5D or above. The unseen realm. Believe, receive, accept, trust, believe on, rest in. It's finished. It was finished before the foundation of the world. <coughs> so the only reason you were going about the cycles of time is until you receive it, until you get birth. It's a cycle, birthing cycle. So the law was hitting you. The system, the world, the flesh, the prior life, it was all hitting you to show you that you're bankrupt that you need something outside yourself you're bankrupt you're blind you're poor you're deaf you're dumb you're bankrupt and you had to admit it but if you don't admit it you'll never be saved do you hear what i'm saying it's really simple it's really simple but the reason people can't hear it is because they're under the law they're worshiping themselves they think they can do it when they can't do anything you understand it's a pride war. It's a pride game. 